So we've looked previously at harmonic series, and we've kind of seen that those harmon the harmonic series does not go down to zero fast enough for it to converge. So the sum of a harmonic series is infinite. And it happens to be the boundary function between finite and infinite sums. So anything that's more powerful in the denominator tends to converge, where anything less powerful in the denominator tends to diverge. So what do you think is going to happen? What would happen if we alternate the series? So there are some series which just go plus, minus, plus, minus, plus, minus. So we've seen some uh, geometric series like this, but we're going to do this to the harmonic series. So we do this by adding this negative 1 to power. So every odd power uh, is going to give us a negative term. So in this case here, when t at t equals uh, 2, we get or n equals 2, we get this negative 1 half. Uh, we're starting at 1, so we end, up, we end up with power 0, power 1, power 2, etc. Okay, so th for these, every one of these, we're going to end up with, an, every second one, we're going to end up with a negative, a negative term, which affects our sum. <clears throat> so what should happen then? Uh, if all of these are positive, it's infinite. If half of these are negative, it's got to be less. Now, less than infinite could be infinite. We don't know. Okay, less than infinite could be finite. So what's going to happen here? So let's take a look at this. So we're going to do a comparison here. So what I would like you to do is I would like you to compare us to this dive convert, sorry, the converging series, which is a basal series, 1 over n squared. So 1 over n squared is looks like this and it converges to this value which is about a little bit more than 1.5 so pi squared over 6. So we were going to do some comparison so to compare this we're going to list out the alternate harmonic series so we're going to list it out this if we're going to go 1 okay so we're going to start with 1 then we're going to have minus 1 half minus 1 half plus one third minus one quarter plus one fifth minus one sixth. Okay, and we're going to keep going on. And this goes infinitely, so we're going to have to stop at some point. So I'm going to list a couple more terms and then we're going <coughs> to stop this and we're Let's do a couple more here. So 1 over 9 minus 1 over 10 okay, plus 1 over 11 minus 1 over 12. And we know that this is going to continue forever. <clears throat> okay, so we're going to group these consecutive positive and negative terms. Okay, so we're going to make a grouping here and so we're going to group these terms like this 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 okay so i want you to find those sums and put them in a table okay so the table is below so make sure in your notes put in a table and i want you to pause this video and list out the sum and in this table also you're going to do the sum of this so you're going to sum these up and you're going to compare term by term and you're also going to list out the the geometric series okay and you're going to list those out term by term as well